The story goes that the 60,000 sons of the old powerful king Sagar disturbed sage Kapil while he was in deep meditation. This offended the sage. The unfortunate sons incurred the wrath of the sage who turned the misguided princes into ashes with just one gaze. It was left to another descendant of the royal family, Bhagirath, to appease Brahma with his intense devotion. Raja Bhagirath besieged the goddess Ganga to come to earth. After a lot of trials and tribulations, Ganga finally descended to earth and flowed over the ashes of Sagar's sons, who then came back to life. From Gangotri, the Bhagirathi flows in a north-westwardly direction, that is Uttar, and therefore the place is known as Gangotri. At Gangotri, Ganga is known as Bhagirathi. Strictly speaking, only at and after the confluence of Bhagirathi and Alaknanda at Devprayag, it is called Ganga. Mostly pandas or priests, shopkeepers, yogis and sannyasis reside at Gangotri. The tiny village of Gangotri is full of giant deodars and conifers. <laughs> 